What's up, Sons? It's Blind Rod with Simon Tech once again. And today we're going to take a look at the EVGA GTX 1070 for the Win Edition. This particular one has Micron memory, so let's see how it mines. Stick around. Welcome back. So like I stated before, this does have the Micron memory. It does not have the coveted Samsung memory. So we did lose the Silicon Lottery on this particular card. But moving around it, you'll see that it has a dual fan design with a pretty basic heatsink underneath it per pretty much any other EVGA cooler design. Nothing special to see here, but moving around the card, we do see that it will require two 8-pin PCIe adapters. So you might wanna look at a GTX 1070 with a little bit less of a PCIe adapter requirement, but that's gonna be purely up to you. This should still get us in the ballpark of a GTX 1070 in general, and you guys can get an idea of what the fans sound like right here. Alrighty, so not too bad. Of course, it does have a back plate on this particular model because it is a for the win edition. So awesome there. I hope so for the price premium on this particular card. And without further ado, let's talk about mining performance. So I've added two more algorithms to our test suite here. We're going to be talking about not only the original four that we always talk about, but we've added X17 and NeoScript to this particular test suite. And starting things off with Lira 2 Rev 2, most popular coin here is going to be Vert. We have we have a hash rate of 40 mega hash a second at 265 watts, maxing out at 72 degrees Celsius. Now all of the power consumption is going to be total system power, and the thread ripper is going to be running around 100 watts. So subtract the 265, or subtract 100 from 265, and you're looking at 165 watts on the power draw here. And the fan speeds are all set to stock here, so it seems to be able to handle it quite well. Moving on. The Crypto Knight here, the most popular coin is going to be Monero, and you are looking at 610 hash a second at 170 watt total system power at 62 degrees Celsius. I did try tweaking a little bit, couldn't get much better without crashes. So yeah, the typical low power consumption to uh, mediocre hash rates on this particular coin. It seems to be typical for Nvidia in general, that's why I say that. Next we have Equihash, which if you're looking at the most popular coin here is gonna be Zcash with 435 to 460 solutions a second at 259 watts total system and 71 degrees Celsius max temperature. This is pretty good numbers of course and there is some tweaking you can do that will improve it. So if you're looking at mining Zcash this is definitely one of the better options to take a look at. Moving on from here we have the classic ET hash of course that's going to be Ethereum and we're going to be looking at 26 mega hash a second at 223 watts total system power and 68 degrees Celsius. Of course with some overclocking this will start peaking around that 30 mega hash range but you're going to have to overclock and unfortunately due to the micron memory this particular card doesn't perform that great in this particular algorithm but moving on we can see NeoScript which is a new and up and coming algorithm that you guys should check some coins out for for sure because they have been popping lately up on what to mine is pretty profitable this particular card does 950 kilohash a second at 292 watts total system power the highest of any algorithms we tested today and 73 degrees C of course the hottest but it does seem to utilize the card quite well obviously here I'll have to do some more extensive testing as I'm not sure on stability with this particular algorithm and that does make me question some stuff for sure especially when we're talking about that high a power consumption we're talking about 200 watts I don't think yeah uh, that's pretty crazy anyways moving on we have x17 the most popular coin for that right now is verge 
in my personal opinion. It seems to be number two in top traded out of nowhere. I'm just going to say McAfee or McAfee. I don't know how to say his name. Anyways, regardless of that, if you're looking at mining it, the 1070 will get you 9.8 mega hash a second at 260 watts total system power with 71 degrees Celsius being the max temperature. So that's all she wrote, everyone. This is going to be pretty much the basic overview for a non-overclocked GTX 1070 with Micron memory. We'll work on some overclocks, etc., in the future, of course, and I'll let you guys know if I come up with any revelations in another video. If you guys have any suggestions for particular miners to check out or particular settings for overclocks, leave them in the comment section below so the community can get an idea. Feel free to link some stuff too. Keep in mind that if you do put any links in the description, it's gonna go straight to my trash box and I'm gonna have to go in there and find it. So maybe ask first just so I get an idea of who I'm looking for because we get a lot of spam now. Other than that, check out coins.sonatech.com for all of the mining pools that we offer over there with low fees. And don't forget to come join us in Discord to discuss all of the particulars in more depth. Thanks for watching and as always, I will see you next Tuesday.